This piece of technology has the power to disrupt the entire residential solar market. And it's not just because of how it looks, the way it's manufactured, or who makes it. It's because of its seamless approach to energy independence. Tesla Solar Roof and the Tesla mobile app, when configured in the right way, can help homeowners become less reliant on the grid and remain better protected in the event of a utility power outage than just about any other solar technology out there. Now you may be asking, how is it possible that TSR can help someone achieve a higher level of energy independence than the hundreds of other solar options on the market? Don't all solar cells work the same way, whether they're embedded in a roof tile or not? Well, good question. It's a whole combination of things that make TSR a more complete solution. It's the way TSR solar cells can be intricately designed into a roof, allowing for increased solar capacity. It's the way the Tesla mobile app processes data, especially in conjunction with the new aftermarket TSR optimizer, which enables optimal EV charging times, avoiding valuable kilowatt hours from being exported to the grid for a fraction of their true value. It's the way the system's batteries can be configured to prioritize certain critical loads in the event of a power outage, keeping your business running and your family safe. It's a lot of things. When it comes to offering a complete solution to energy independence, Tesla Solar Roof really is in a class of its own. In this video, I want to share with you a little bit about the basic value proposition of Tesla Solar Roof how exactly the new TSR Optimizer program can enhance it, and how Tesla Solar Roof compares to other premium roof options when combined with rack-mounted solar. So let's get into it. First, why would anyone want a Tesla Solar Roof if it costs more than traditional solar? Well, it actually solves a lot of problems. First off, it eliminates the need for those pesky panels on your roof. Just a few years ago, this may not have been much of an issue as most homes only needed about a 4KW system, maybe 10 or 12 panels in total. These panels could often be hidden in the back of a house, somewhere on the roof where they weren't much of an eyesore. But now, as more people have started switching to electric furnaces, electric water heaters, adding electric vehicles, and running their AC more often, the average system size has increased pretty dramatically, in many cases to 30 to 50 panels for a single home. In a lot of cases, having this many panels on a roof can become visually overwhelming. But with TSR, you can have the same solar capacity, potentially even more, and see nothing but a beautiful roof. Tesla goes even one step further than that in, in most cases by eliminating all the other non-solar obstructions from the roof through their minimalistic ridge vent system. Now there's certain things you can't get rid of, but the vast majority of your vent pipes go away. So at the end of the day, Tesla solar roof can actually enhance the architectural look of a home rather than detract from it. Okay, next, TSR makes it possible to accommodate larger solar system sizes in more complex roof lines. This is because Tesla solar shingles are smaller in size than traditional panels, making it possible for them to fit solar in smaller spaces and be configured in more unique ways. There are some cases where you just can't fit a traditional panel on a roof because of the way the roof is designed, but you can fit all the production you need with the TSR. The next major challenge that TSR solves for is roof leaks. Gone is the need for a solar racking system tied into your rafter beams. With Tesla, there are no excessive loads pulling on your roof at any one point. All of the TSR shingles simply tie into your roof deck. So it's now the roofing material itself that's producing your electricity and not a heavy obstruction that's mounted on top of it. Finally, TSR solves for fire hazards. When a burning ember lands on a typical roof, unless it's an interlocking steel roof, there is always a chance that that ember can find its way to the roof deck and cause the home to catch fire. With Tesla, the entire roof is prepped with a Class A fire-rated self-adhesive barrier, making it virtually impossible for it to ignite. This makes TSR one of the safest roofing products available. So all great competitive advantages that in and of themselves might make it worth investing in a Tesla solar roof. But what makes TSR even more compelling is the new aftermarket TSR optimizer. 
To understand the value of the TSR optimizer, you have to first understand the problem it was designed to solve. When a homeowner goes solar in California, whether it be with a rack mounted solar array or an integrated solar roof, that homeowner is likely to end up on a net metering billing program with his or her utility company. Under that net metering program, any excess electricity that's produced, i.e. electricity that the homeowner doesn't use or store, will be sent back into the grid in return for credits. Now, up until early 2023, this worked out really well. Homeowners could send in one kilowatt hour and receive back another kilowatt hour in the form of a credit. But as solar gained in popularity and more backfed energy entered the grid during the middle of the day, the major utility companies decided to change their net metering rules, ultimately offering homeowners less favorable exchange rates. And this forced new customers entering the solar market to start buying batteries to store their excess daytime production instead of sending it back to the grid. But this has proven to be an imperfect solution. Solar energy production is, after all, not 100% consistent day in and day out. And battery systems cannot be economically sized to meet every aberration in production. It's only really economical to size a storage system to meet some type of baseline excess production. And as a result, homeowners with storage systems nearly always end up in a position where some percentage of their energy is still being fed back into the grid. Well, enter the solution, Tesla Solar Roof with TSR Optimizer. With TSR Optimizer, there are now three distinct options instead of just two to capture the market value from the energy you produce. First, energy can be consumed in your home. Second, energy can be stored in your battery system. And third, excess energy that would have been sent back to the grid for virtually nothing can be isolated to charge your EV. This enables you to charge your EV for something like five cents a kilowatt hour instead of the 26 to 70 cents per kilowatt hour that it might ordinarily cost. So no more wasting production by sending it back into the grid so long as you can be somewhat flexible with your EV charging schedule. You now have the ability to fully capitalize on every kilowatt hour that you produce. Now, as I mentioned at the outset of this video, I wanna share a cost comparison between a Tesla solar roof and alternative premium roof plus rack mounted solar option. I'll start by pricing out this, a premium roofing material called stone coated steel combined with a standard rack mounted solar system. And I'll price that out against this Tesla solar roof. Both of these options have great warranties, great functionality, and their own unique value propositions. I'm gonna tell you from the start that the Tesla product is gonna be shockingly more expensive. But after we apply all of the incentives, you'll see how the TSR can become the, uh, the more compelling option. Okay, so we'll assume we're working with a 2,950 square foot roof in Costa Mesa, California, and we're trying to offset a $400 a month electricity bill. Now, just for context, the homeowners here are a husband and wife with two young children. Both homeowners work full-time jobs, and the husband has a consulting business that he operates out of the home. Neither of the homeowners have an electric vehicle, but they're planning to purchase one sometime in the near future. So after running the electricity consumption for this scenario through the solar estimating tool Aurora, I was able to determine that the homeowners will need a 10 kilowatt solar system to achieve a 120% offset of their current electricity usage. Now the gross price for a 10 kW rack mounted solar system is going to come in somewhere between $35,000 and $40,000 with high quality components and the price of a stone coated steel roof replacement on which that solar system will be mounted is gonna come in around $47,000. So this brings us to the total for our traditional roof and solar option around $82,000. Now this is a solid option as I mentioned, great warranty, great functionality, and generally a very appealing aesthetic. Now let's move over to option number two, Tesla solar roof. The gross price of a Tesla solar roof with a 10 kW embedded solar system is going to come in about $156,000, nearly twice the price of our stone coated steel option. And I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but here's where the gap starts to narrow. 
Let's go back to our rack mounted solar scenario and let's start there. Let's take the tax credit off that system. That's going to be $10,500 at the 30% ITC rate. And so the net cost of the rack mounted solar plus stone coated steel option is now going to come in about 72,000. Next, let's move over to the TSR. We take the same 30% tax credit off of that. That's about 46,000. So the net cost of the TSR is now about 109,000. To note that this assumes the TSR has active roof tiles on all the roof planes and that we're only dealing with Tesla roof material on the roof in general. Now, if the homeowners are purchasing the TSR with the TSR optimizer, the installation is going to also come with a critical load panel dedicated to the circuits necessary to keep the home's most important features running in the event of a power outage. And this alone could be worth some of the price difference between these two options. But TSR really starts to approach the same cost level of traditional roof and rack mounted solar products when financed through a program called TSR Elite. TSR Elite was designed by McCormick and opens up additional subsidies specific to the Tesla solar roof. By way of example, with our hypothetical homeowners, the cash value of the TSR Elite subsidies would be $22,000 $697, or roughly 14.5% of their system price. I cover TSR Elite in more detail in a separate video if this topic happens to be of interest. When we deduct the TSR Elite savings from the cost of the solar roof in our example, that brings us to a net price of $86,293. So before taking into account any of the economic benefit that could come from the TSR optimizer, here's where we're at. The net cost of purchasing the TSR is now $86,293, very close to the purchase of an alternative roof with rack mounted solar. Now, what I haven't included in the above calculation is power wall cost. This is going to be about the same under either scenario, probably $10,000 fully installed net of all the incentives. Also, I just want to mention there may be some additional tax benefits available to you if you have a home business that requires a critical loads panel. You'll want to consult your CPA to see if any of these benefits apply to you. Okay, so let's jump into system cost and ROI. As we discussed, both of our hypothetical systems have been designed with a solar capacity of 10 kW. So both are going to produce approximately the same amount of power, about 15,481 kilowatt hours in year one. And both are going to offset the same percentage of the homeowner's electricity, about 120%. Finally, both systems are warranted to have similar solar cell degradation, about 1% per year for the first five years and half a percent per year thereafter. So with all of that understood, let's start our ROI analysis by looking at the value of the homeowner's energy savings over the expected useful life of each system before factoring in the value of the TSR optimizers. Over 25 years, the homeowner is projected to save $228,836 in energy costs in both scenarios. This assumes the homeowner's current $400 per month bill escalates at the historical rate of utility price inflation within the SCE territory where they're located. So basically, this brings us to a 2.6 times overall return from just energy savings alone. Now to figure out our basic payback period, we need to go back to our net cost for both options and subtract out the cost of the stone coated steel roof replacement. We're going to do this because under either scenario, the homeowners were going to have to replace their roof regardless of whether they went solar. So after we back out the cost of the roof, this brings our net rack mounted solar plus batteries to $44,500. And this brings our net cost of the TSR plus batteries to $58,993. Again, this is just for determining the purposes of payback period since the roof portion of the project is assumed to be required within the next five years or so. The payback period for the stone coated steel plus traditional solar plus batteries is about eight years and the payback period for the TSR plus batteries is about nine years. So at this point, 
even though the TSR is a little bit more expensive, you could make the case that the TSR trumps the more traditional route since the TSR is achieving very similar economic returns while offering superior aesthetics and protection. But this is really just the beginning. Everything I just shared with you is before factoring in the benefits of the TSR optimizer and before factoring in any impact on home equity. And these are areas where the TSR gains some real ground. The TSR optimizer alone could be worth as much as $1,000 per EV per year in additional benefit. So if you had two EVs, you're looking at a potential benefit of $2,000 per year. This could bring the payback period for the TSR all the way down to seven years. Now, here's the breakdown of how I'm getting to these numbers. A Tesla Model Y gets about four miles per kilowatt hour. If you drive 12,000 miles per year, that means you're gonna need about 3,000 kilowatt hours in electricity. And if you don't pay regular attention to when you're charging, your average cost per kilowatt hour is likely gonna be somewhere around 45 cents in SCE territory, which is gonna make the annual cost to charge your car about $1,300. Now this is all without the TSR optimizer. Now if you install a Tesla solar roof and use the TSR optimizer, you can more strategically charge your car. You can use the kilowatt hours that you would have otherwise sent back to the grid for five cents. So instead of getting $150 a year in credits for the 3,000 kilowatt hours of backfed energy that you're sending into the grid, you can get $1,350 a year in charging value for the same energy. I should note that a substantial amount of these bonus kilowatt hours will be available in the first few years of your system's life since your system will have been upsized to account for future degradation. I know I've gotten into the weeds on this topic, but I really like the way the TSR optimizer can help someone transition from having kind of a symbiotic relationship with the grid to becoming truly energy independent, with the grid pretty much only serving as a backup power source. Okay, so we've talked about all the great features and benefits of the Tesla solar roof. We've talked about how the TSR optimizer can enhance its payback and all of these things are great if you want to stay in your home but what if you think you might sell in the next few years does all of this still make sense again this is another area where the tesla solar roof shines in cases where the look of the tesla product complements the existing architecture of a home tsr is likely to add considerably more value to the home than traditional roof and solar options here's how the numbers break down the increase in property value that comes from putting traditional panels on your roof is approximately $4 per watt. This is a plug number commonly used by appraisers. So for a typical 8KW system, that translates into about $32,000. On the other hand, the property value increase that comes from putting integrated solar on your home can be as high as 7% per Tesla. And this is over and above the added value that comes from performing a premium roof replacement. So for a million dollar home in Orange County, California, integrated solar as a standalone feature could add $70,000 in value, $38,000 higher than traditional panels. And when you add to that the equity premium that comes from installing a new roof of equivalent quality, the combined increase in property value that Tesla solar roof brings pretty much anywhere in Orange County or LA is over $100,000. So again, with respect to enhancing home value, Tesla solar roof appears to provide a much stronger ROI than traditional roof and solar options. So that was a lot of facts, a lot of math, and overall probably more information than you were looking for. But given everything that we have just covered, Tesla solar roof does seem to be a very compelling option for homeowners who are looking to become energy independent. In my personal opinion, I don't see a more complete, more elegant solution on the market. TSR really does help homeowners break free of that price control that has always been held by our large utility companies. And it does so with unparalleled style. If you'd like to learn more about this product or how you can qualify to finance it, please click the link below. We'd love to work with you and uh, discuss your personal situation.